My name is Mike Rapich. I work for the Highway Patrol, and because of that, I chose fatal crash data to be this, the, the, the unit of analysis for my study. Um, specifically, I used Utah Highway Patrol cra fatal crash data. Um, I had the complete data set for the last four years from 2010 through April of 2014, which included 500 different observations and 12 different contributors or variables to fatal crashes. Um, going into this survey, I specifically had an interest in seatbelts. Um, over the last five years, the Utah Highway Patrol has seen a 31% decrease in the number of total fatalities, yet we've seen an increase in seatbelt fatalities, which was, uh, fatalities where people weren't wearing the seatbelt. So that was an interest I had to begin with. The additional interest I had is I wanted to identify specifically what were the biggest contributors to fa fatal crashes. Um, to do this, I started with a proportional test, um, which I ran the variables in a proportional test against all of the different observations to find the ones that were the most significant. There were four that stood out among, among the rest. They were specifically speed, um, seat belt, lane travel, and DUI, respectively. Um, from those, I selected speed, seat belt, and DUI for further analysis um, due to the fact that lane travel actually in includes a lot of sub-variables that were the actual contributor in lane and lane travel wasn't very descriptive. Um, when I did this, I, because I had an interest in seat belts, I, I took seat belts and made it a, a dependent variable and I ran other independent variables against it, specifically DUI and speed because they were significant contributors and I also selected location meaning did it happen on a freeway or did it happen on a highway and I selected uh, age, um, the age of the, of the victim to see if that was a correlation as well. I ran first bivariant regression analysis against each of the independent variables. After getting the results of those I ran multivariate regression analysis. In the end I determined that both DUI and age have significant relationships to seatbelt usage and age specifically independent of the others. Um, so in the end, we, the, the conclusion was is that for seatbelt, even though you can put a lot of emphasis on seatbelt enforcement, seatbelt education, you're actually impacting a lot of other things by putting your efforts there. Appreciate your time. Thanks.